And so what I want to say first was, uh, I'm right in thinking that you would consider yourself a, a traditional teacher or a more traditional teacher? I try to be. So what, for, what does, does that represent to you, that quality? Um, for me, traditional just means that I'm passing on what my teacher has taught me. And in some ways, it's verbatim. I'm passing on the instructions as clearly as I've understood him giving them to me and trying not to add in my own um, Interpretation. interpretations, especially if they're going to change that teaching. Right. Yeah, so I'm always trying to operate within the lines or the boundaries of the information that has been given to me. And your teacher has been Sharat from the word go? That's right, yeah. So from my first trip um, to Mysore, 2002, uh, I've always studied with Sharat. And so at first it was, you know, a small affair. Yes. After he would finish with Guruji, he would teach um, in his uh, mom's house. And uh, yeah, there would be like 10 or 12 people. Nice. And then uh, a few years later, once um, Guruji wasn't teaching as much, Sharat took over at the Shala, and so he moved everybody there. But yes, Sharat's always been my teacher. And how do you feel, has that made a difference to your approach from those people that came up through with Guruji? Yeah, I can't say anything. I don't know about what that their experience was no. with Guruji, just from what I hear. I think my experience would have been very similar to people that were studying at the main shala too. I don't think Sharat's ever been teaching anything different yeah. than how Guruji was teaching, but I think the way that Guruji probably finished teaching in the 2000s was different than the way he you know, was teaching in the 70s or the 80s. Yeah. It changed over time as it grew more popular. And for yourself, what are the key qualities or, or yeah the key qualities really for sticking to that traditional approach rather than veering off and adding bits in mm -hmm. or making modifications to the practice well foremost is that I don't really know anything <laughs> <laughs> to any of us even if you think we do yeah exactly yeah. right and I, I try to keep that in mind all the time and so I'm more of a technician I'm just passing on a technique right. that's um, you know been taught to me and uh, that's limited by my understanding of it. And so I'm passing that on as best as I can. Um, my interpretations of it aren't very interesting. You know, they're not, there's nothing that makes me, you know, uh, worth listening to in terms of my interpretations of the technique. It's the technique that's come down over, yeah. you know, millennia. Yeah. And I don't know anything about yoga either. I, you know, I know about these techniques and the hopes of achieving yoga, but I don't have any real deep, realization or understanding of yoga. I'm just like everybody else, like, you know, working towards, working it. towards it. Yeah. 